Hello, so this is just going to be a short little video attempting to prove or disprove whether or not Soviet night vision emits radiation and therefore damages your eyes, as in x-rays, gamma rays, that kind of thing. Because a lot of people have claimed that online, but a lot of people also think that's a scaremongering thing, you know, where people have made it up to say, you shouldn't buy those Soviet night visions, you should only buy American night visions, blah 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 blah, sort of thing. So this was the night vision sent to me by B-Store, and it's one that's, you know, meant to supposedly, um cause you eye cancer and all sorts of stuff like that according to some people online. So you'll notice down there on the right there's my SOEX, or it might even be just slightly out of frame, so I'll put it here. There is my SOEX 01M Geiger counter. It's still out of frame isn't it? Because um, there we go, see that's there. So what I'm going to do is, it's just getting background levels of radiation at the moment, I'm going to get this out, use a 9 volt battery just to power it, because at the moment where I'm filming this video I still haven't actually um, have the crocodile clips arrive for my, um, you know, connectors. But what I'll do is I'll put this here so it's visible. Now what we're going to do is because it's obviously um, the lights on, I don't want to burn the night vision out, we're going to keep the end caps on, but this is the end that's meant to cause the radiation, the um, basically, you know, the bits that you look through that end. So what I'm going to do is just get this battery and this here there we go, it's powering on. I can hear it powering on because it's making the whirring noise. And I don't know if you can see that there, but that's emitting green light. Let me just hold it up so you can see on the camera. Yeah, see that? It's green. Um, I'll probably keep it at this angle just for doing this bit of the Geiger counter. But, right. So now let's put the Geiger counter there. And I need this in frame so you can see the numbers. Oh, it's not picking up anything at the moment. Um, still background levels. I'll move it all around the device. Because the logic some people are using, um, and the science kind of makes sense until you look into the science properly. So thank you to Hype for explaining why this shouldn't be the case to me. Uh, let me just get the contacts back on that battery. Um, is that because cathode ray tubes that are in night vision, in the CRT, like television, um, if you've got enough voltage running through them, you can generate X-rays from a cathode ray tube. The logic is that these could give out x-rays or gamma rays um, but as you can hopefully see um, the Geiger counter is just picking up completely normal levels it will tick up and tick down ever so slightly but that's just background levels but if I show you the searching thing if that's visible you can see that it's pretty standard you get little spikes of background radiation every now and then and that's it so yep yeah, to answer the question putting this all around there let's try the transformer at the back yeah nothing this does not give out X-rays or gamma rays, because the SOX-01M can pick those out, but it certainly wouldn't give out alpha radiation. So, there you go. These do not give you eye cancer. Whether or not there's some logic that certain infrared illuminators that you could use with night vision can damage your eyes, that's completely possible. But again, I wouldn't know which models would do that. It's just apparently some infrared searchlights in certain wattage ranges can damage the eye, if you look into them. You know, a bit like looking into other bright lights or the sun, that kind of thing. But for the people saying that night vision, um, you know, actually gives out x-rays directly into your eye, totally not true, because the Geiger counter would be picking up on it, and it's not. So there we go, it's just going between about 0 0.12 and 0 0.15 for the background levels of radiation, and this night vision is having absolutely no effect on it. So there we go. Myth busted, I guess. Soviet night vision does not give you eye cancer. 